Austin, Wolverine was laughing quite a bit during the face-off. What do you think that was all about? That's fear. He, uh, he doesn't want to take me serious. He doesn't want to, uh, he don't even want to look me in the eyes. And the easiest way for him to, you know, disguise that, cover that up is laugh about it. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, he didn't really think nothing was funny. The betting lines have you as the favorite. The three other champ, the, the, the other champions um, are favored in the other, th the other three title matches. Considering everything that Wolverine has done, why do you think you are sitting here today as the favorite going into tomorrow night? What's Ronda done? What's she done? She ain't been doing nothing but slapping in the minor leagues. You know, she, the last place she was slapping at, they were stealing the barrel from some bums hanging out in the alleyway. I, I don't think um, anything she's done is uh, worthy of the respect that she tries to think that she deserves. And as well, on top of that, Ronda, the bearded bitch ain't been hit like I'm about to hit his dumb ass. Um, just to follow up on that, do you have any respect for Wolverine? For what? I mean, we've we've just started here. He he's got to earn my respect. I'm not just giving out free respect because he's been slapping dummies around. You know, he's been playing with you know the little leagues, literally the little leagues. So the respect has got to be earned. We've just begun. I'm about to knock his ass out, and then we'll see, you know, where the respect lies after that. If you pull out the victory tomorrow night. When I pull out the victory tomorrow night, matter of time. How do you think it's gonna? How do you think that's gonna change your life? The power slap has changed my life in so many ma so many ways. Already, you know, every bit of this is uh, like a dream come true, an absolute blessing, and there's the, that's the only explanation for it is a blessing, and you know, I can't not be excited, not be thrilled, not be energetic with any part of it because uh, it's all been life-changing. And after I knock out Ronda, uh, I, I, I'm excited for what's next because uh, I've been talking my shit. I've wanted this. This is what all the hard work's been about, finally getting up there and getting my chance to get my belt. Live and free on the Rumble app, baby. Yeah, nice little surprise with your T-shirt earlier on today. Is there any more surprises from now until fight time? You know, whatever falls out the sleeve, um, you know, things just kind of come to me in a, in a time of uh, when it's – I let it all happen naturally, so I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Terp? Uh, Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. You bring a different kind of energy to the room, to the room when you step in and on that platform before, during, after a match. If there's one culture since Power Slap One that I've noticed that, that brings an energy from the audience to the platform, it's, it's the Islanders, the Polynesians. Can you just talk a little bit about the culture, the support, and just the energy that they bring? And d do they pump you up, even if you're going against a fellow uh, Islander, um, just the energy they bring to the room? Yeah, for sure. That's the, that's the whole thing. Um, that's what drives me, you know. Competition, a dog. I love seeing that. So when I can see somebody who's really in tune with uh, the – the drive and, and the fight and want to put in all that effort and, and the energy just comes out of you. If you got it in you, sometimes it's it's uh, harder c to contain it than it is to just let it out and fucking be free with it. You know, let it let the energy flow. And the, the Hawaiians are definitely good at uh, getting behind their people and you know m making statements and being loud. And that's what it's all about. If you want to go up there and, and be a squirrely little girl and, and try to be some stoic, stupid Rhonda, you know, I don't, I don't see where you're coming from. None of that's exciting, and I, I wouldn't want to watch it naturally. You know, naturally, just me, I don't think that's very uh, entertaining. So the Hawaiians to watch, um, excite me. But as well, competition excites me the most. I've always loved just getting in there with somebody else and stepping on their fucking throat. That's what I love to do. Where did this animosity come from? I don't know. Ask the doctor, April 26, 1995, who was there, whoever was in there, you know, pulling me out of Mama Dukes. They probably were like, fuck, look what we got here. I don't know. It just, it's inside of me. It's, it's, it's in my heart. It's in my, uh, it's in my blood. It just, if it wasn't, if I, if I wasn't being true to myself and, and letting the energy flow, it, it'd be harder. It, 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 would, it wouldn't be no fun for me. And I'm enjoying myself. Is it easier to go up there and slap someone that you kind of seem like you don't like that much? I don't like anybody who weighs. I don't. I don't like anybody. I don't like anybody who weighs 205 pounds. So, getting up there and slapping them is a. Uh, it's a blast for me. It's all easy. Eating the fucking shots. I love getting hit. That's why I signed up for this shit. So, 
that's just another little bonus when I get to fucking sing some send somebody shit to Pluto and, and you know do my do my thing and put the Sandman on their ass and uh, tell them a, a good night story. Is this something where maybe we could see you guys, you know, maybe two days from now going and having a beer together, or is this something you're going to keep holding on to forever? I don't drink alcohol. Okay, glass of milk, chug of milk. Chug of milk, yeah, we could we could have a milk competition. You know, I love fucking milk, so. We could go straight to the dairy, actually, and get it straight from the source. I would definitely love a uh, milkshake competition. Milk, you know, we could share some milk or something like that. Maybe some soda pops, water, something like that. Uh, you know, Lizzie. You know, not no, not no boozy for me though. Um, since you were last competing, there's been a couple of rule changes. I'm just curious if that's changed uh, how you train at all, or your game plan at all, or anything like that. Not really. Not really. Um, I, I come into the fighter meeting and. Um, expect to always evolve so i know that this is just the uh the beginning stage of power slap in general so there's going to be changes and i'm not counting on anything to change and make me better make me worse or anything i'm, I'm gonna evolve with the sport as well so bring on the new rules bring on all the uh, anything you want i'm ready for it all and i've been asking a couple of the champions about a potential rule change i thought maybe the champion should automatically get to slap first. I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. that. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. Like I said, I came here to get hit. That's one of my most, that's one of my favorite parts. That's the most exciting to me is standing there, looking at that motherfucker as he's about to swing and just know he ain't got shit for me. And when I eat that fucking shit, I'm ripping his fucking soul right out of his heart and I can feel it drain from him. That's my most, that is so far the most exciting part has been getting hit and watching people fucking drain, lose their energy, get sucked out of them. That's my favorite part. Yes, ma'am. Sir, one more from me. Uh, Veda earlier said that you are good for this sport because a sport like this needs needs a villain. Do you embrace that role? Do you like that, the, the, the animosity, the angry? Because that's what it takes to get that chip as you st get ready for tomorrow, step on the plever. Do you, are you cool with that? Is that what you want to, to sort of embrace? I mean, I'm just embracing myself, Turp Daddy Slim, Austin Turpin. That's who I am. So if somebody wants to, uh, you know, I'm sure I'm a lot of people's boogeyman. You know, I, I'm sure Rhonda has been checking underneath his bed ever since he heard that. I'm going. That he's got to stand up there with me. So villain, hero, whatever it is, tune in live and free on the fucking Rumble Lab, baby. Hey, Austin. What's up? You've gone through a massive transformation from when we first seen you, not only physically, but mentally. You're, you're an entirely different person, I want to say, almost from Power Slap 1. Um, well, getting this belt, is that what you need to kind of justify this transit, like put the period in your story kind of thing? That's not what I need. That's what I'm getting. I'm taking. That's my belt. So it's going to be, a, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be so surreal, man. Like I've been watching Dana put belts on people for for longer than I can even, you know, recall right now. So I'm just truly excited, man. You often say you're at home, you, you're cooking up different strategies, working on different slaps. Uh, seeing people kind of imitate your style, do you take that as a compliment? Uh, I don't really, like uh, I, would, I would have to, you know, see an example or, but if there's somebody doing it the Terp Daddy Slim way, that's fine, that's cool too. You know, I would personally say go find your own way to do it. Um, but yeah, do it however you want to do it. To everybody doing it, you know, the Turp Daddy Slim way, shout out to you. Back in the lab down there, have you cooked up anything special for Ron? Yeah, I got that fucking bearded bitch fucking eliminator, dude. How many of those shirts have you made? You'll have to wait and see. Keep tuning in. Thank you, Austin. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. One more. You talked about uh, going on a trip to Kissing Cousin County. What does that mean? I think that's where he, I'm pretty sure that's his hometown. I think um, that's all that is. I, I was actually on the way to Cousin Kissing County, but I heard he somehow they arranged like a donkey or something, maybe a, a you know, a, a wheelbarrow. Somebody's pushing him in a wheelbarrow to Vegas. He made it here, so I stopped my journey to Cousin Kissing County. He's, he used to, I think he was the mayor of Cousin Kissing County, so... I knew he'd be there. I knew for sure Rhonda, the bearded bitch, I could find her dumb ass at the, cousin, the, cor the corner of dumb and stupid in Cousin Kissing County is where I was heading. I was looking for her. Thank you.